Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another Shamshir Sound video. My name is Ali Nadam, and today we're going to be looking at how to get better RAM performance, how to squeeze out more RAM when you're using contact. Um, I just learned a new trick today from a fellow uh, producer, composer, orchestral writer named Alex. He has an awesome channel. You can check it out if you want to write orchestral music and learn some cool stuff. Fantastic dude. And I learned this tip on how to squeeze out more RAM out of contact. So when you guys use contact, when you load up an instrument into it, um, here we have like the uh, factory brass. Here we have a string ensemble. When you guys drag something in, um, it's loading actually all the articulations and everything into your RAM. If we look at the top here, how it says 1879, contact can get really RAM demanding very fast. And the reason for that is that all the different articulations, whether you're using a sustain, a staccato, whatever it might be, um, also all the notes, everything in between, all those articulations and whatnot are being loaded up um, to have them readily accessible in the instrument. And so each instrument will differ. This one is 200 megabytes. Um, this one, 50 megabytes. But the thing is, is that when you are only playing like a few notes uh, here, you know, I'm just playing like a few notes. We don't need all those octaves, every single note, every single articulation. So we can optimize that in a very smart way in a feature contact called purge. So I'm going to play for you what I made here. It's not important, but I want to show you that it will not change the way your sound is. It's just going to save and take off all the unnecessary things that you're not playing. That way, if you're not playing, for instance, if you're not playing sustain and forte, why load it into your RAM? You know, with the purge function, it will load it into it when you start playing the note. It will omit stuff that you're not playing. So let's play this back. So here, for instance, this staccato is being used here, here another one, here we're using like a sustain. These are all using 50 megabytes. Now pay attention to my RAM and what we're gonna do. So here I'm gonna go to purge, purge all samples. Or you can also go, if you're using multiple modules in one contact window, you can go here and go to global purge. And you're gonna wanna use this one, purge all samples. Now I only have one instance of contact per window. So I can just use it here. I don't need to do the global. Global would have been good if I have multiple instances inside of here. And the other option is if you want to reset this back to normal, you would just go to reload all samples. So if I hit purge, you see it says zero. Now when I press play, it will begin loading up what I'm playing back. Take a look. <laughs> So now instead of 50 megabytes, it loaded 1.5 megabytes or the notes, the samples that I'm calling back from contact. And if you guys do this across multiple contact instances, you're going to save so much RAM. This is a, a very crucial, essential tip, especially for you guys that are composing orchestral music or you have a lot of these and it gets really RAM demanding. That is why it gets very demanding on RAM. Now, again, if you want to reset this, you would just go back to this. You don't need to reset it. It's not going to affect your audio. But if you want to bring it back to the default, you would just hit reload all samples and we're back. Now, what I'm going to do is pay attention to my RAM. I'm going to reset all of these. I'm going to hit purge. Okay, so this one's purged. I'm going to purge this one. Okay, and they're all waiting for me to play back what I want. And it will start loading the samples that I'm playing back and avoid what I'm not saving a lot of memory. So we'll purge this, this one, 200 megs, purge that guy. Another one to purge. And, you know, some of them get crazy. This one, Alicia's Keys, 364. You know, if you guys are opening stuff that's humongous, it, that can take away a lot of your memory. Now we're just gonna play back the bar. <laughs> And we can see this went from 360 megabytes or so to, you know, less than a megabyte, a quarter of a megabyte, 370 kilobyte. 
and we just shaved off like 600 megabytes of RAM and we might actually save more when we save the project and reopen it. So I hope you guys like this tip. It's going to save you a lot of RAM when you're using contact. Just remember to go to that feature there, purge all samples or at the top global purge if you're using more than one instance inside of one contact window. So guys, if you like this, be sure to smash the like button. Be sure to drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this. Did you guys know about this? Are there other tips that maybe you guys want to share regarding contact? And remember to hit the subscribe button so you guys are notified of my uploads. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Take care.